Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to create this. So this logo animation is done entirely using After Effects and it's very easy to create. You can use it for any type of logo or text, whatever you want. So let's see how to make this. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and I've already imported a couple of these logos. Now it's completely up to you. You can use any kind of logo or text, whatever you want. So just import them in After Effects and you are ready to go. So first we'll begin by creating a new composition. So let's go to composition, new comp, and I'm going to call this one main. Width and height will be 19, 20 by 1080, frame rate 30 FPS. And duration you can pick whatever you want. Just click on OK. Now I'm going to create another composition for our logo. So let's create a new composition. Let's call this one media or logo, whatever you want. I'm going to make this 1000 by 1000. Rest of the things will remain same. Just click on OK. Now let's quickly open up the logo comp and we are going to drag our logo, which we are going to use. So let's drag it over here. It's quite big. So I'm going to just scale this down so that it fits inside it. Perfect. So once you're done with this, we can go back to the main composition and we can drag our logo over here, which is this media. So just drag it like that. Perfect. Now we can right click and new and I'm going to create a new solid for the background and let's make this a little bit sort of red. Perfect. Let's place this below and on the logo, I'm going to apply fill because I want this to be in white color. So let's drag it over here and I'm going to change its color to white. Perfect. We can probably select this, press S and let's just scale this down. So here we have our logo and now let's start animating it. So in the beginning, I'm going to add a null object. So right click new, let's add a null object and I'm going to just parent this to the null like that so that we can control it using this. Now I'm going to press S and let's just add a keyframe and I'm going to move it to somewhere around 20 frames or one second. And in the beginning, I'm going to just scale this up quite a bit. If you want, you can probably play around with this position so that the name is visible, but I think this looks fine. Something like that. Now I'm going to select the keyframes, press F9. Let's go to the graph. Now, in case your graph looks different then make sure you are using the speed graph, not the value graph. I'm going to select these endpoints and let's make it look like that. Perfect. Now I don't want this to be this small, so we can just probably make it like that. Perfect. So here we have our animation. Now we are going to add some lines to move across the screen. So it's actually quite easy. All you have to do is just simply select the pen tool. Just click anywhere you want and hold on the shift key. Just click add some other place. Now make sure that stroke is not zero so that you can see we have this outline. Now for fill, you can just simply set this to none. Just click on the fill and just set this to none. Perfect. So here we have our line. Now you can just extend it to however you want. Let's quickly animate it. So in order to do that, I'm going to go inside the layer add and let's add a trim path. Now open up the trim path properties, add keyframe for both start and end. And I'm going to start these values from zero. Now let's move a couple of frames ahead and set both of these to 100. Now, in order to make the animation visible, we can select the top keyframes and let's just offset them a little bit like that. Now we can select all the keyframes, press F9. Let's go to the graph editor and we can just probably zoom in. Now it's completely up to you. You can just make your graph looks however you want. And for this one, I'm going to just make it like that. Perfect. So here we have one line. Now we are going to do the same thing and just repeat it a bunch of different times. So I'm going to select this, press Ctrl Shift D to split this layer. You don't want it to be visible after that. So we have one line. Now I'm going to select this, press Ctrl D. Now you can select this and use the arrow keys to move it to where, whatever location you want. Let's place it over here. You can also change its color. So I'm going to make this one black like that. Now let's play around with the stroke. You can also play around with the size of it. You can make this smaller and we can probably move it over here now you can press u you can play around with the keyframes as well if you want more length like that then you can have it or if you want lesser length then you can just move these closer like that perfect so here we have two strokes now i think that these are too slow so i'm going to select everything hold on the alt key and just click the last keyframe and just drag so that all of these keyframes are smaller let's make this a little bit bigger perfect so here we have this so before we continue, if you enjoy my content and you want to support me, then you can check out my Patreon page. Over there, you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates. So if you want to support me, then make sure to check it out. Link for that is in the description. So let's continue. Do the same thing. Select this, press Ctrl D and this one I'm going to make this a little bit more smaller. 
and we can probably place it somewhere around here on this text and i'm going to change its color to this red which we have in the background like that now i'm going to select this press ctrl d and i'm going to just offset it a little bit and select the bottom one and on this one let's keep it white like that now let's select these press u and i'm going to just extend them like this you can probably play around with their position perfect so here we have our lines moving in now let's pick a point somewhere around here where we want the second slide to come in somewhere around here so at this point i'm going to select the bottom layer which is the background so press ctrl shift t to split this layer now i'm going to place this at the very top and we're going to change its color so let's apply fill and i'm going to make this darker something like that perfect now we can drag the media once again like this and again we are going to make it white again completely up to you you can pick whatever color you want let's make this white and i'm going to select this press s and let's just scale this quite a bit something like that so we are going to basically animate its position this time so let's select this press p let's add a keyframe so this is going to be our final one so let's move this ahead and in the beginning i'm going to just move it to this side now you can select the keyframes press f9 let's go to the graph and again we are going to change it to look something like that so that we have this coming in and probably move this away like that now over here as well we can add these elements so all you have to do is just simply select them press ctrl d let's just move this to the top and let's just drag it over here now at this point we can probably change a couple of these so i'm going to apply fill to this and let's change this to the red which we have over there something like that now you can play around with their position let's press ctrl d and i'm going to create one more copy and let's place it over here press u let's move the keyframes closer so that this is barely a box move it to somewhere around here and i'm going to select this one and let's place this down below let's press ctrl d and i'm going to place one over here and let's just make this little bit very small something like that perfect so here you can see we have our second slide now somewhere around here we can have our next slide so again we are going to do the same thing so let's select this press ctrl shift d and let's just move this to the top and this time we are going to add the logo once again and we can probably apply fill let's make this white and this time i'm going to animate it from the this side so let's select this press p for position let's add a keyframe we can probably move this to something like that so somewhere around here we can just make it come to the center just like that now again do the same thing with the keyframes and change the graph to look like that perfect so here we have this now it's too fast so we can probably move this away like that so we have this first slide second third and over here we can do the same things so again i'm going to select everything press ctrl d and let's just place it over here so randomly play around with the sizes till you find something that looks good so here we have our three slides and at the last we can have our simple logo reveal so again select the background press ctrl shift d let's move this to the top and i'm going to just copy the first color which we have over here so let's select this and just pick this color like that now we can have our logo once again over here let's apply fill so this to white press s and i'm going to add a scaling keyframe so let's move this over here and in the beginning i'm going to make this like that somewhere around here let's make this to the original size something like this again do the same thing with the keyframes So that we have this sort of animation perfect so once you're done with this we are ready to add some elements over here as well so let's select this press ctrl d and i'm going to drag it over here perfect let's press ctrl d and i'm going to select this one let's make this smaller and let's move this to the top somewhere around here and i'm gonna make this little bit smaller let's add different color 
So now we are pretty much done with this and here you can see we have created this animation. Perfect. Now in order to make this stand out a little bit more, we can do a couple of things. So first I'm going to create a adjustment layer. So right click, let's create an adjustment layer. And on this one, I'm going to apply invert effect. So let's drag it over here so that it will turn everything like that. Now we don't want this to affect all of these locations. We just want this to affect a couple of these places. So I'm going to just add some cutouts like this. Now we can animate these cutouts as well. So after a couple of frames, we can select this, press Ctrl Shift T and we can double click on the mask. Now we can just move it wherever we want. You can play around with the scale position, however you want. Again, let's move a couple of frames, press Ctrl Shift T. We can probably hide this. So here you can see we have these two glitches sort of things and let's place one over here again double click on this mask and just move it and place it wherever you want let's place it over here perfect let's move a couple of frames ahead let's cut this out and let's do the same thing over here as well so i'm going to just quickly select all of these press ctrl d and let's just move it over here as well now we don't need this layer we can play around with these only so let's select them and just place it over here and let's select this one and i'm going to place it like that let's place one over here so here you can see now we have added some really nice glitches and let's control d and just place it on top of it as well Perfect. And we can do the same thing at the last slide as well. So select all of these, press Ctrl D and just add a little bit of these here as well. And we can probably delete the last one and just add it like that. So here you can see we have added all the glitches and everything. Now we have your logo animation. And the best thing is that if you want to change the logo, all you have to do is just go inside the media comp and here you can just drag whatever logo you want. So let's drag this one, press S and I'm going to just scale this down like that. Now, if I go back, here you can see we have already applied all the animations and we have our logo reveal at the end. So you can play around with the colors. You can play around with these elements as well and you will have your animation. Now, the project files for this tutorial is available on Patreon. So if you're supporting me over there, then you can download it from there. And if you're not, then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on Patreon. So with that being said, my name is Abhishek and I'll see you in the next one.